corporate black men, black men that have good jobs, one of the reasons why they date a lot of white women is because unfortunately, the, the black men that have the good jobs and corporate black men and that, a lot of them don't carry the energy that black women want. Adding the fact that if you got a black man who has a corporate job, think about it this way, you got a black man who has a corporate job, he lives in London, but he has a corporate job. He works in the city. Well, 90% of the people them that work in the city, ain't, well, 95% of the people them that work in the city ain't gonna be black. So the chances of him even interacting with a black woman to hook up with a black woman is gonna be slim. When he goes out in the city and that, and he's going to all these functions or you know, interacting with people in the city, there ain't gonna be that much black, black women to choose from. His social circle, unfortunately, a lot of us black people, a professional people, they don't have high paying jobs. So there's gonna be less and less black women for him to interact with. So I think that's partly why a lot of black men who have corporate jobs and that and are professional black men, they don't they don't pair up with black women. Because they just they ain't even that much black women for, for them to pair up with. Because think about it this way, if a man's a high earner and he's a decent quality man, why is he gonna want to pair up with some ratchet ass black girl? I'm not saying all black girls are ratchet, you got some good ones, you got some bad ones, but there's a lot of ratchet ass black women. A man, a man who's doing well for himself, he don't want no ratchet ass black woman telling him what to do and that and trying to run his money and that. Nah, nah, man. Nah, but the celebrity, yeah, that's a difficult one. Yeah, man, that's a difficult one. Maybe the same thing with the celebrity. Why, why, why a lot of black celebrities um, hook up with um, white women? It's just the places that they go. Them man, they might just be in them prestigious clubs and that. And unfortunately, maybe the black women aren't in them prestigious prestigious um, club. Maybe the black women are too hood for them. Maybe the maybe the black women ain't submissive enough for them. Or maybe the man them ain't ma ain't manly enough to make the woman submit. That might be another thing as well. There's there's a lot of things that go into it. But definitely, who you hang around with, what sort of, uh, sort of places you go to. Unfortunately, a lot of black women, a lot of us black people come from, you know, the working class and that. So we were even going to be at these upper class prestigious events for them and they to even interact with. I don't know, it's a difficult one, isn't it? There's a lot of factors. Successful black men... More, a, a lot of black people ain't successful so you know if you're going to attract people within your circle and that well unfortunately you ain't got much black people to pick from remember it's a numbers game you might get 10 girls numbers you might go out get out on a date with four of them you might sleep with one or two of them it's a numbers game it's a numbers game and if you've got less numbers to work with then the chances of you hooking up with a black girl and that and it working is slim to none. Just remember, some of these girls, yeah, they. <laughs> this is why Kevin Samuels was so big and that, and, and other men that, that spit the same thing as him. You, you got a girl out here, right? They came across a decent man. They, they came across a decent black man when they were younger and that, but because he weren't hood enough, because he weren't gangbanging and, and that, because he didn't have six other girls chasing after him, uh, she pushed him to the side. But then what happens? Yeah, because remember, these, these girls think they know it all when they're 20, 21, 23, 25, whatever in it, when they're young and they're hot. But when's that happening? When they get 30, 35, oh boy, the clock is ticking, you know? Oh, I'm going to go and find my, myself a real good man. And then they get pissed off when they see black man driving nice cars and that. And their passenger is a white girl. You see, white girls and that and Asian girls and women of all, 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 all the other race of women in the world, they don't really make that mistake, you know. Yeah, they fuck about with the bad boys when they're really young, when they don't really matter. But when it's time to get serious... 20, 21, when they start graduating from uni and that, that's when they go and find themselves uh, husband, boyfriend material, whatever, really. 
But black women don't think like that. Black women, no, they continue that throughout their life. You, I, I know women, 50 years old, don't get interested. Women always want that bad boy, I get, I get, I get. But 50 years old, women are still, these 50 year old women still want the bad man. Still want the bad man. And they complain when they when they use don't have their dad around. And you can't have your cake and eat it. Can't have your cake and eat it. All of these girls, all of these girls, all these women I should I say, innit, that are like all 40 years old and they're single mums and that and the the baby does a waste, man. I guarantee you, even if it was just that one guy, there was one guy in their life that there was that was interested in them, wanted to give them the world. But you know what happened? He was too nice. He won a challenge. Man, fuck that idiot. Let me go and chase my man up, sir, because, oh, he, he's a rude boy. Oh, he, he walks with swag. That's going to be the perfect father figure for my you. So, man, I don't know. <laughs> What can I say? I don't, I don't have no remorse for them. I understand why. I understand why the man them need to have, you have to have a certain energy about you for women to want to wanna deal with you or whatever, innit? But you know what, yeah? Carrying that gangster swagger, now, that, that don't raise, um, that don't raise children, you know? Gangsters don't raise children. Tell you what will happen if you, if you date a gangster. My man will be in jail and you're you. Will be visiting his dad. Imagine going to visit your dad in prison. That's mad. That's mad. That is nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear that. All women like a challenge in that, but you know, this 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 thing ain't a game. It's not a game. Women are only going to come across a handful of men that are actually good suitors. And just because he weren't a challenge, just because his swag weren't as on point as you want it to be, you just push him to the side. Well, that's cool, then, it? But, but see what I'm going when you're 35 and that. Because trust me, <laughs> there's bare women out here. <laughs> bare them. Single and lonely. When if they gave my man a chance, they'll be married. My man, my man wanted to give her the world. So hold on a minute. So you push my man to the side and you're a broke single mom living in a council house. When if you gave that guy a chance, I could guarantee you, look, just look at the way my man's living right now. You would have been in a detached house in the suburbs. You would have been driving a Mercedes and potentially you could be a kept woman. As long as you don't spend too much of his money. You could have been a kept woman pushing a Mercedes. But no, nah, he's not gangster enough, so I want to chase the bad boy. Well, boy, 